roughly 25% of the world's population, that is almost 2 billion people worldwide are suffering from a condition called metabolic syndrome. This condition is a precursor for various diseases like diabetes, hypertension, stroke, heart disease and so on. I am Dr. Ranganath and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, we will try and find out what is metabolic syndrome, how do we define metabolic syndrome, what are the risk factors for having metabolic syndrome and what are the diseases that are associated with this particular syndrome and how can we prevent or treat metabolic syndrome. In the previous video on the series of obesity, we have seen what is the burden of obesity and what are the diseases that are associated with obesity. We have also seen that not everyone who is obese are at increased risk of getting these diseases and not everyone who is who has normal weight are immune from these diseases. So what it means is if somebody who is obese can still be healthy and someone who has normal weight can still have an increased risk of getting these chronic diseases. So this increased risk is based on the presence or absence of abnormal metabolic parameters. So what are these abnormal met metabolic parameters? We will try to find out in this particular video. So these abnormal metabolic parameters are nothing but which form a metabolic syndrome. Metabolic syndrome also called as syndrome X is a conglomerate of condition where there is obesity, there is insulin resistance, there is hypertension and there is dyslipidemia or abnormal lipid levels in the blood. So these conditions put that particular person at increased risk of getting certain diseases like diabetes, obesity, stroke, heart disease and certain cancers. Let's see what is the burden of metabolic syndrome that we are facing today. In the United States of America, roughly one third of the population is suffering from metabolic syndrome. When it comes to India, more than 25% of the Indian population are suffering from metabolic syndrome. The prevalence of metabolic syndrome is estimated to be three times the prevalence of diabetes. So going by these estimates, more than 25% of the world's population or nearly 2 billion people worldwide are suffering from metabolic syndrome. And this is not only a phenomenon of urban population, even people from the rural background also have this metabolic syndrome. So how do we define metabolic syndrome? Metabolic syndrome is defined on based on the presence of abnormal metabolic parameters. There are five parameters. If out of these five parameters, any three parameters are positive, then that particular person is classified as having metabolic syndrome. So the first parameter is increased abdominal circumference or the waist circumference. For Asian population, if the waist circumference is more than 90 centimeters in men and more than 80 centimeters in women, then that is considered abnormal. The second parameter is uh, increased blood pressure. If the blood pressure of a particular person is more than 130 by 85 millimeters of mercury, then that is considered abnormal. The th third parameter is increased fasting blood sugar level. If the fasting blood sugar level is more than 100 milligram per deciliter, then that is considered abnormal. Then the fourth and fifth parameters are based on abnormal lipid levels. If the triglyceride levels of a particular person is more than 150 milligram per DL, then that is considered abnormal and if the high HDL cholesterol or the good cholesterol is less than 50 milligram per deciliter in women and less than 40 milligram per deciliter in men, then that is considered abnormal. If three out of these five parameters are present, then a person is said to have metabolic syndrome. More the conditions being abnormal and severe the abnormality, the higher is the risk of getting chronic diseases. Let's see what are the symptoms of metabolic syndrome. Unfortunately, there are no specific symptoms or signs of metabolic syndrome. Uh, one of the signs can be an increased waist circumference. If you are noticing that your waist circumference is increasing, your pant size is going up, uh, that's a sign that uh, you are actually having central obesity and you can test for uh, metabolic syndrome. And the other uh, symptom can be if somebody is snoring at night, then that's a sign that uh, there is increased fat accumulation in the body and they also have to get themselves tested for metabolic syndrome. 
even if there are no uh, signs that are uh, positive anybody who is more than 30 or 40 years of age should get themselves tested for metabolic syndrome because this this metabolic syndrome is actually precursor for many chronic diseases and if a diagnosis is made at this particular level uh, the correction of uh, metabolic syndrome is uh, very easy and the risk of getting this uh, these diseases can significantly be reduced what are the risk factors for getting uh, metabolic syndrome uh, one of the risk factors is increased age as the age increases the chances of getting metabolic syndrome increases the second risk factor is uh, if somebody has a family history of uh, uh, diabetes or somebody has a gestational diabetes that is if a woman has become uh, diabetic during pregnancy then there is an increased chance of getting metabolic syndrome uh, somebody is obese or there is a family history of obesity uh, somebody has a polycystic ovarian syndrome or infertility or they have sleep apnea or snoring they have an increased risk of uh, getting metabolic uh, uh, syndrome or uh, people who are sleep deprived sleep deprived people who have a lot of stress and people who are physically inactive all have increased risk of getting metabolic syndrome and more importantly poor diet is a significant contributing factor for developing metabolic syndrome as previously discussed there are various diseases that are associated with metabolic syndrome like diabetes hypertension uh, non alcoholic fatty liver disease uh, heart disease stroke cancers uh, dyslipidemia and so on and so forth insulin resistance is an underlying cause for metabolic syndrome and one of the main reasons for developing insulin resistance is increased uh, refined carbohydrates and sugar in your diet the increased amount of sugar and the refined carbohydrate in the diet actually raises the blood sugar level which in turn spikes the blood insulin level if the blood insulin level stays higher for a longer period of time the body develops insulin resistance and the pancreas uh, compensates by producing more and more insulin and since insulin is a fat storage hormone the body converts this carbohydrate into fat and stores this fat in the adipose tissue and the patient develops obesity eating too much that is eating more than what is required and eating too frequently and eating late into the night also contributes for insulin resistance uh, again uh, lack of sleep stress physical inactivity also contribute for development of insulin resistance there are other tests that can be done apart from the regular tests that what we do for metabolic syndrome these are ultrasound of the abdomen and this can show that uh, a person has fatty liver fatty liver is a sure shot sign of insulin resistance and should not be uh, neglected you can also get your thyroid levels done because many um, uh, people with metabolic syndrome have hypothyroidism and uh, the thyroid hormones can be uh, affected and uh, you can also get your liver function test and renal function test done which will generally be normal in the initial stages and uh, uh, you can do serum uric acid because many people with metabolic syndromes have raised serum uric acid and can have features of gout and you can also get your fasting insulin levels done which will generally be elevated and since there is an increased risk of cardiac disease you can get your cardiac workup done the good thing is metabolic syndrome can not only be treated it can also be prevented and it can also be reversed and this can only be done by change in lifestyle practices one of the drug that is very helpful in the treatment of metabolic syndrome is metformin this not only treats metabolic syndrome but also helps in the reversal of metabolic syndrome in the subsequent videos we'll try and learn how to change our lifestyle habits to decrease the risk of metabolic syndrome not only the metabolic syndrome but other diseases that are associated with metabolic syndrome like diabetes hypertension heart disease and so on if you found that uh, this video is helpful please uh, like this video share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you want to know more about this metabolic syndrome please type your comments and post it in the comment section below if you are interested and you want to know more you can also book a 30 minute call with me uh, to see if you have uh, features of metabolic syndrome and also know how you can uh, prevent or uh, treat this metabolic syndrome you can also join my private facebook group to connect with me for more health related updates thank you